Alright guys, Matt Goddard here. Um, what can I say? What a fight. Uh, congratulations to Anthony Joshua on a, a great win and a big achievement for him. Um, he's, he's set his place in the history books um, by beating Klitschko. Uh, I'm going to break this, that, this video down a little bit. Uh, the first part I'm going to go into uh, what AJ did right. Second part, I'm going to talk about what AJ did wrong, some mistakes I saw there that could cost him in the future, and where I see some flaws. Um, and I'm going to finish with Klitschko and my analysis of, of what happened there. Um, so what he did right uh, is jab. <clears throat> when he threw it, he, he had a jab like a ramrod there, um, and it definitely, definitely had the impact that he desired um, he punched with with intensity and for me what made the difference between the two fighters was that when AJ hurt him when AJ landed he was looking for more than one punch he was looking to continue punching and keep going till till he got the, the desired result which happened with obviously all of the knockdowns um, and the and the stoppage in the end um, I don't think Klitschko was would have done that when he hurt him. He let him off. Um, he stood off and he and he kept pouring at him, uh, which I think cost him the fight actually. Um, but I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later in the video. Um, uh, AJ's balance was good. Uh, he kept his movement fairly firm. He wasn't trying to trying to bounce around the place too much. Um, he. There's some lovely defensive work. There was a few really nice roll unders and, and pivot round to the sides that he used to, to get out of the way laterally um, rather than just moving in straight lines, which was good to see actually. Um, and and he showed real heart getting up from being knocked down, which to be honest, for me, I think I think the punches that that he took from Klitschko, uh, he took with he took with, with great great strength considering Klitschko's knockout record, considering the shape he was in, and and actually some question marks I had over his chin, I mean they're still there, I still think if Klitschko had been more aggressive um, and followed up, he would have he would have done a lot more damage, but you can only, you can only beat the man who's in front of you, you can only get over the knockdowns that happen, and you can only do what needs to be done, and AJ did that, he, he got up from the canvas, he survived, and then he took took a couple of rounds to recover. Um, sensibly, he stayed away and, and kept at range and and avoided some of the bigger shots Klitschko was trying to throw. Um, and he got the knockout eventually. Um, yeah, so so well done, AJ. Congratulations on that. Um, not at all what I predicted. Uh, I'll hold my hands up to that. You can't be right all the time. Um, surprising, but having watched the fight, I think maybe uh, maybe Klitschko just sort of showed that he's he's a bit too far past it now. Um, what AJ did wrong, I felt like he was very very susceptible to the overhand right. Uh, that Klitschko just wasn't really throwing it aggressively enough. He was sort of standing back with it. Um, and movement really, really seemed to, to baffle him. Uh, the minute Vlad was moving laterally, because AJ's attacks are very direct and he puts all of his effort into moving towards a target when he's attacking, it seemed to it seemed to baffle him and slow him down um, and sort of interfere with his, his smoothness and his punch flow. Um, he looked also, I'd like to add, as, as a... Uh, positive. He looked incredibly strong and close, um, and very powerful in the clinches. He didn't look like Klitschko leaning on him was was doing anything really, um, which which is a good thing, especially in the heavyweights now. There's a lot of leaning and holding and grappling. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> I think he's very open to that overhand right, um, and I think actually someone who throws more than one punch and moves after that along the lines of, of the way Fury dealt with Klitschko is going to be a real challenge for for Joshua um, but it'll be interesting to see how he copes with it 
having having not written him off but expected less of him to be honest in the Klitschko fight than, than he showed. Um, it'll be interesting to see how well he can adapt and cope with, with the other fighters now. Um, talking Deontay Wilder, uh, Tyson Fury, Joseph Parker potentially. We'll see what happens with that one. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see see how well he, he can manage those guys. Um, another negative I saw was when he hurt Klitschko uh, the first time, he threw, I think it must have been a 10-punch combination, and he was absolutely exhausted. Um, for me, I think that can only really come down to being a bit bit muscle-bound, being a bit too too muscular, too heavy in areas it isn't necessarily required for, for boxing, for punch power. As an all-round athlete, he looks incredible, and I'm sure he could perform in, in almost any sport at a high level um, with the way his physique is, with his dynamism. Um, but there, I think I think there's a lot of muscle in him that's just not necessary. Um, I mean, Klitschko is a completely different body shape, and he still managed to drop AJ with a punch. He didn't lose power because he's he's not massively muscular. So you know, it balances out though. Obviously, that's also what gives him the strength in close and gives him the strength in his legs that enabled him to to recover after being hurt. Um, uh, <clears throat> that's it for the negatives, really. In fairness, it was it was a fairly inactive fight. I think both fighters could have done a lot more. Um, there was a lot of uh, jab exchanging, which is okay, but they, they weren't overly impactful jabs from either fighter in the sense that neither was really trying to open open their opponent up for a, for a second shot. Um, I'll give AJ credit in that. He went out at the start of a couple of rounds and led with some really nice left rights. And that's actually what starts starts the end for Klitschko. Um, he lands a big left right hand at the start of a, start of a round. And, and that's what does the starting damage. Um, Klitschko can't really recover from that. Uh, yeah, not just not enough volume in the fight, in fairness. It's heavyweight boxing, though, that volume isn't what you expect anymore. Um, people are watching it for knockouts, which we got last night, which was great. Um, Klitschko, pfft, incredibly frustrating. Uh, as a fan of boxing and someone who, I don't profess to know everything about boxing, but somebody who watches boxing and breaks it down to to its to its individual aspects in terms of, of quality of punching, movement, defense, footwork. Um, Klitschko missed out on so many chances through overcautiousness, through um, a, I would say, through a, a almost a fear um, or a, a lack of desire to punch, to throw more than one or two punches at a time. When he hurt AJ, Joshua was absolutely exhausted. He had nothing to give. Um, there was no power in his punches. He, he landed a couple of short little counters that didn't affect Klitschko. Um, and Vlad didn't capitalise on it. He, he, he had the opportunity. Um, as a former champion, he should have known what was required of him at that point. Um, and that is absolutely every bit of energy you've got to get the other guy out there. I think if he'd... if he'd, I think it was around seven, I believe. Um, if he'd followed it up, and just kept working, kept punching. He would have got the stoppage himself. Um, he was throwing his right hand with some real trepidation, in spite of hurting him the first time. He wasn't really committing to it with with any kind of any kind of intent. There was no there was no real desire to look for that knockout. I think he was far too happy, far too content to just jab his way through the rest of the fight, thinking that he was ahead on the scorecards. Um, I'll go into all of that in a second, um, and and it, it cost him. He lost the fight because of it, um, and all you can say at that is well done, AJ. He did what was required of him. He showed he had the killer instinct, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. He got the win. He is the heavyweight champion of the world, and fair play to him. Big clap for AJ. He deserves it. It was uh, really nice to see a person... Um, speak so well after 
such a big fight. Um, he was humble and modest and honest about what he wants and what he's done. And it was really nice to see that approach to to such a huge stage. Um, and I, and I, I give him a lot of credit for that. It, that speech in itself um, boosted my opinion of him, to be honest, um, after the fight. Uh, scoring. So I had Klitschko winning a couple of rounds, but it was around even due to AJ dropping him. Uh, I think it was three knockdowns that he managed to get him in. I could be wrong on that. Um, yeah, I had it. I had it. It would have been roughly drawn. The first couple of rounds I gave drawn because uh, absolutely nothing happened. Um, then Joshua hurt him. Then Joshua was blown out of his ass and Klitschko hurt him. And then AJ dropped him again and then got the knockout. Um, so I would have had it about even going into the into the round that AJ won um, with the knockout. Uh, it, would, it would have been a close fight, I think. I heard somewhere that the, the judges had it scored um, in AJ's favour. That seems ridiculous to me. Um, he didn't do enough to win any of the rounds between the rounds that he hurt, hurt Klitschko. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I would, I would have had it about even at the time. Could have gone either way. Uh, where we go from here? A Klitschko rematch for me is a waste of time. It's off the cards. Um, I'd love to see Fury get himself back in shape and come back. I think Fury offers the unpredictability, the uh, sort of enigmatic, enigmatic psychology almost of someone who doesn't even know what he's doing. Like he has he has no set plan in his head of what he intends to do at any one point. So it's really difficult to train for someone who is so erratic and so unpredictable. Um, and it could go entirely the other way. Like he said himself, he could absolutely, absolutely blow it mentally on, on the night and, and not have a clue what's going on. Or he could be the, the Tyson Fury there basically outclassed comfortably for 12 rounds um, Klitschko uh, following up from that Deontay Wilder now for me Deontay Wilder is the man that throws the punches that would knock Joshua out whether or not he could cope with Joshua's power that's the balance that's headway boxing for you but Deontay Wilder throws overhand rights that Vladimir Klitschko should have been throwing they're the punches that will win that fight. Um, I think AJ would have to be a lot tighter on defence, a lot more head movement. Um, and and that would be a really interesting fight, actually. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see whether Deontay uh, would take that fight. I, I hope he would. I hope they could arrange that fight. That would be a, a huge, huge heavyweight event. Um, both sides of the pond um, and across the world. Uh, the rest of the division, for me, is a shallow division. There's no real depth to it. It's, it's basically a waste of time outside of the top seven, seven or eight heavyweights. And even then, only the top three or four are, are worth watching now. Um, Klitschko spent Fury's out of action at the minute, though he's coming back to training, which is great. Can't wait to see that. Deontay Wilder is a beast. AJ is a beast. I think outside of that, of any value... Dillian White looks like he's trying. Um, I still think he's, he's sort of mid-tier, but he, he's got a lot more desire than most of these guys. Um, Joseph Parker's interesting. But I can't see him... I can't see him getting past any sort of decent level of boxing ability, which I think he would struggle against someone like AJ. Um, Luis Ortiz, he, he really needs to, to prove himself, but he's definitely... Definitely someone who can have an impact on the division if he's in shape, if he's motivated, and if he's focused. Um, yeah, so that's my video, guys. That's my, my review of, of last night's events of the Anthony Joshua Klitschko fight. Uh, great fight, incredibly entertaining. I lost my voice a bit last night. Um, it was it was what you expect in heavyweight boxing. It was an up down tug of war type battle to the end and, and and i really enjoy you guys so that's me hope you're all good hope someone won some money on some bets take care guys